I want to speak this morning on this subject. Many saved people have lost souls. Did you hear what I said? I said many saved people have lost souls. I wondered this morning. <coughs> if I said, are you saved? Most of you would say yes. Yeah. But I wonder if you have a lost soul. In the Bible, soul winning is <coughs> not always getting somebody saved. This morning, I'd like to do a little soul winning to the saved. And then where it says lose his own soul, it means <coughs> become a lost soul. I want to talk to this morning because most of you have lost souls. You say, preacher, I can take you to the place and, uh, and tell you the time when I receive Christ as my Savior. That doesn't make you a saved soul. It makes your spirit go to heaven. And it may be that you're saved this morning and your spirit has been revived and renewed and quickened and you're a child of God. One day your body will be saved at the rapture when the saints of God are caught up to meet the Lord in the air. But the sad truth is, most of you have lost souls. Now I'm talking to hundreds of people in this room this morning whose names are written in heaven, but you have a lost soul. I've got a saved soul. And I long for my people to have saved souls. The people all over this room this morning, whose name is written in heaven. If you died, you'd go to heaven. And your spirit's been renewed by the regenerating power of the Holy Spirit of God. And your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But the honest truth is, you have not a living soul. Oh, you breathe. But, but you live for the material. You live for the visible. You live for the tangible. You live for the touchable. You have a lost soul. Thank God I can still weep on a place. I've learned in whatever state I am there with to be content. I'll tell you why you fuss. You have a lost soul. I'll tell you why you can't get along with your mom, your dad, your son, your daughter, your family, your friends. Your soul is lost. 